So my name is Annalise Spuno. Um, if you've seen my artwork around anywhere, uh, I go by a pen name, Lovebug Illustration. So maybe you're familiar with it. Be cool if you are. So initially, when I was asked to do this, I was terrified, um, just because my art is like an open diary. Um, I have definitely been through a lot of great. Wow, that's loud. Uh, <laughs> I've been through, you know, like some weird things in life, so everything like parallels my life. Um, I didn't really have a choice uh, with my career path. My mom's an art teacher, my dad's a designer, and um, I just walked around with a sketchbook all the time. They were always telling me, draw what you see, not what you, you know, not what you know in your head. Um, I was a really weird kid, and I still am like a really weird kid. Um, so, <laughs> you know, a lot of fantasy involved. Um, I was also really into rock and roll. This is me and my friends. When I drew this when I was 11 years old, um, we were going to start a cool rock band. I wasn't a lot of rock bands, but not with them. They couldn't play music. Um, <laughs> yeah, uh, I loved the human figure too, drawing the human figure. Um, when I got into college, I was obsessed with Muka, which is this drawing right here on the right. Um, and then that is my drawing, um, mostly just figures with. The, the composition was what I was really into, the design elements around MUCA. So you can kind of see it reflected in my own work. Um, uh, I got my first client work also when I was in college, uh, junior in college. I started doing logos and graphic design. Um, this is actually a bar in Lancaster. You can go to it. It's called 551 West. You might notice that it has a DeMuth influence, um, and that's because uh, he's a Lancaster artist, so I thought it'd be cool. Um, I worked with the music scene a lot when I got out of school. Um, I did a comic book for the guys on the left called Jet City Vega. I was really into comics growing up. Um, so my artwork always had real heavy, bold outlines and very limited color palette. I also ride motorcycle and um, that's just also from a comic. Um, then I got <laughs> pretty much the opposite of what my parents told me to do. I got really into my head and started drawing like these real trippy cartoons. I'm um, obsessed with Alice in Wonderland, so I would do like the pen and ink version, uh, scan it in. That's actually colored digitally, and I did a whole series of like real trippy fairy tales. Um, I think it comes with just being a creative. Uh, I definitely have like pretty bad depression, um, and I went through a phase where my artwork was just very reflective of that, just dark. Um, but you can tell that my figures have gotten. Uh, a little bit more realistic since then. Um, uh, end of college, I started getting obsessed with, you'll hear me drop a lot of artist names, uh, Kent Williams, who is the guy on the right, um, and then that is a piece of mine directly influenced by him. Um, a lot of his stuff is very refined figures with abstract backgrounds, and that's kind of the style that I've been running with recently. Um, I also started throwing these huge elaborate art shows. It was really just an excuse to party. Um, <laughs> so uh, I did this whole show, it was all around love, and um, I was talking to a guy at the time who was bipolar, and he was just all over the place, so this is called Seasons of Love, and it's just all runs through the different like seasons, that it, like emotions that I felt with him. Um, I realized that romantic paintings were my cash cow, uh, people seemed to really relate to it, um, plus I could have fun with it, and I could still get back into like that fantasy realm, but keeping my stuff somewhat realistic, um, but you know, get surreal with it too. Uh, my day job at the time, I was a package designer, randomly. So I was still doing the graphic design. You can even see a little bit of a MUCA, like Art Nouveau influence um, in it. So if you ever see the Golden Gourmet Snacks, I did the entire line. Yeah, one designer for Hanover Foods. Um, <laughs> uh, my personal work, um, crazy juxtaposition at the time was super psychedelic. Um, I was really into psychedelics. Uh, I was also really into like just the way that the brain works. Um, so these all have like, you know, titles. That's actually called ayahuasca and it's the goddess ayahuasca. So um, I also got very um, kind of like spiritual for a time frame. I still am. Um, uh, I was really into yoga and I was actually meditating with a Buddhist monk for a little bit. And uh, my artwork, I feel like, really reflected that. So, space, too. Um, I never really lost sight of my music roots. 
Uh, this piece is really cool. Every color represents a different layer in the song. So like we pulled apart songs and I would listen to each instrument that was playing and like associate it with a color and a shape. So this is just the whole thing layered together. Um, so my bread and butter right now, I do commission work. Uh, I do a lot of portraits, a lot. Um, really what I'm focused on is just the interactions and bringing out some sort of soul in the person, um, whether it's in the eyes or whether it's in the interactions that um, you know, they're having like in the center painting, um, even animals. <laughs> so, um, but I also still do graphic design, like the stickers over there on the left. Uh, I do murals, they're actually my favorite thing to do. Um, I do book illustration and um, I do body painting, which maybe you've even seen. I do that with a partner um, and we're called Innovative Skin. Um, <laughs> Uh, I love being involved in the community, that's another big thing. Um, I do this thing called Free Art Friday, which is that slide over there. Uh, I took that away from another guy that actually spoke here, um, Matt A. Paul, and we just hi I just hide like paintings one Friday a month and it's a scavenger hunt for people to find them. And then I do Art in the Parks, which is through Creative York. Um, I'm the director of it and it's a free art program for inner city youth. Um, Never lost sight of my, the romantic stuff, because like I said, that is the biggest sellers. Um, and I'm a businesswoman. Um, I'm, right now, I'm mostly focused on touch. You can see all the points where the figures connect um, is kind of like the most interesting thing to me. These are all self-portraits. Uh, I actually don't do self-portraits that much, but every time that I feel like my art is going through some kind of change, I will do a self-portrait. So it starts at the top, kind of goes, and like a little square, and then this is where I'm at right now. Um, just ridiculous. Yeah.